Hi, my name is Bree, and I lead the project called CarbonFi. We are a climate change driven project that aims to incentivize people for doing the right thing for the environment. That's really awesome. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Um, I'd love to understand a little bit more about how this works, if you can explain a little bit. So our first product is essentially a DeFi protocol that we are using to regenerate Earth. Um, we have deposit features and staking features like a typical DeFi protocol where you can actually use or leverage your crypto assets in exchange for carbon offset NFTs. So you earn them as you go. Um, and throughout time, we actually use that to incentivize uh, and finance carbon offset projects. So the more we can do it, then of course, the more impact we can have. In this way, you're actually able to, you know, mitigate that and, and ensure that, you know, we're actually headed, you know, towards using blockchain technology and crypto as a exactly. vehicle to improve our planet. That's right. So we are essentially leveraging blockchain and crypto for the climate, or as you would say, Web3 now. Um, of course, like NFTs are a hype, um, but we are enjoying using that hype for the climate. Um, we also believe that we need this to actually get people to do the right thing because I think people should be rewarded um, in order to change their behavior for the better. Um, let's, let's put it this way. If you cook a meal and it's delicious, you will eat it. And then I'll tell you later, okay, that was actually all plant-based and that's good for the environment versus, oh, these are all plants, eat them because they're good for the earth. It's a very different approach. So people just need to have something tasty and that thing that is tasty will incentivize you to then do the right thing. So it helps also people diversify their portfolio in the sense that, you know, instead of just owning crypto, like typical crypto, you can also earn something that has a real world impact. The more you're taking care of yourself, the more you feel good. And the same thing with the planet, the more we're taking care of the planet, mm -hmm. the more beautiful environment and, you know, the more we can enjoy our lives. And who says we can't have fun? And this is what I think NFTs and blockchain and crypto, you know, can be if it's leveraged in a way that's, you know, all of this together. I mean. Yeah, it has to be tied in seamlessly and easy to use. Um, so basically, I'm pretty excited because our dev is uh, going to be launched on the 30th, um, but then the fully audited version will come out sometime a month after that. And once that's crossed, we actually want to be able to bring this solution to real world people so that nobody will be left out. If you don't have a MetaMask wallet, if you don't have crypto, you can still participate in the benefits of the solution. Um, and of course, we're kneeling down as many partnerships for that. Why I think that uh, we want to take this approach is because I think sustainability starts at home, like you mentioned. So if we can help people get rewarded financially for doing the right thing for the climate, it solves the small things for them first. So once they solve the small things like, okay, how do I pay if I do want to make a, I mean, I want to choose a product that's more environmentally friendly, but that usually costs more. So if we can help by removing a premium or at least bringing it to normal, the same price as normal products, then more people would do it. And then once they can solve these smaller problems, then they can think about the bigger things like outside of the home. What are we doing for other people? What are we doing for the planet? That's how behavioral change is achieved through incremental changes. So even if today you decide to have nuggets and then tomorrow, if you just have half the amount of nuggets and have- You don't feel so bad. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So that's it. So that's it, yeah. Well, that's really, really incredible because, you know, who says that, you know, you can't be making money doing the right thing? I mean- I mean, if you're doing the right thing, according to how like DeFi works, you should be rewarded. And we are just looking to play our part in the whole climate change game. I know that I think now it's a very, very conscious society for climate change, but there's still not enough incentives for more people to do more. So as you were saying earlier, you know, you said, how, what can one person do? One person can do a lot. And I would like to say that obviously, I think my team is amazing. Um, we've managed to bring this this far as a team together. But then like 10 years ago, if you had told me I'll be sitting here trying to promote a project that's actually helping climate change, I'll be like, you crazy. <laughs> Well, of course, because, you know, we've had all these, uh, you know, major government, you know, it's a lot of money. I mean, it's being, mm. you know, it's being used as a political, you know, vehicle. And it's just like people are just kind of disenfranchised because they're seeing that the world is necessarily getting more clean and it's getting better. And we're, you know, taking our paying with our taxes. And at the end of the day, you are more in control if, you know, everything is recorded, you know, through a system on a blockchain, mm. you know, that ensures that, you know, that whatever you're paying for is actually going for the cause that you really want it to go exactly. to. So I guess you guys want to maybe address greenwashing. So that's essentially what we want to do. Like today, if a company says that they planted 10,000 trees, you want to be able to check it 
and instead of just trusting them. And that's what Web3 is great for. It's about decentralized transparency and audit. So it gives people trust in brands if they are able to actually come on board this movement. Um, decentralization is also a great way to conserve resources. It's not just about energy or carbon footprint really, but it's also about more efficient processes and having a closer contact with your community. I think that's how, what it's all about. So now that you know, we are in this time and space where everyone is quite carbon or climate conscious, it's been a great time actually to use existing technology and use it for good. Um, and all of the proceeds from what we do, um, I mean, what the whole liquidity that we have on chain, we're dedicating all of that to projects. So every single cent, you can track it on the chain as well. Like you said, you know, it's very transparent. You're donating exactly, you know what you're donating to and getting rewarded at the same time for it. I mean, I have nothing else to say. This is just a great, great project. And thank you for creating such a platform that ensures that, you know, the world can improve and that people can benefit from doing that. And like you were, you know, rightly saying, it's like if your glass is already, you know, overflowing, then you're willing to share that. And yes. that's a very good analogy. Okay. Yes. How can we, um, you know, keep track of what you're working on and, and how can we get involved? Where do we reach you? Okay, so you can follow us on Twitter at CarbonFi, so that's C-A-R-B-0-N-F-I. And then from there, you can also join us on Discord. So for every two weeks, we actually hold an office hour where you can ask questions about crypto if you're a newbie to crypto, or you can ask questions about ESG or climate, which is also the other site that we cover. So we just want to make our team very approachable because we also believe that sharing the knowledge will help increase awareness. And hopefully more people would feel like they can actually do something to make a difference. Brilliant. Thank you so much.